Welcome to Business 101, also known as Business Mathematics. This is an overview of the online course using our Blackboard tool. As you can see, we are already on the course homepage, where you can see my contact information, a link to the syllabus, and some resources for students. If you go to the left side, you'll see the navigation, and if you click on Syllabus, you'll have access to the syllabus document and course overview, both of which were recently emailed. Each week, you'll want to review the course documents that we are covering. Go to the left, click on Course Documents. You'll see that every week, the course documents will be released at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. The first week's course documents have already been released, and if you click on Week 1, you can see the content for the week. As I mentioned before in the course overview, this is an accelerated eight-week course. Thus, the amount of weekly readings and assignments is heavier than in a typical semester format. Falling behind one week in this accelerated course is like falling behind two weeks in a regular semester. So plan accordingly and optimize your time in learning. I recommend in addition to reading the chapters for the week, you should review the PowerPoint slides I have provided here. This will help walk you through the content and give you examples on how to do the math as it relates to each chapter. There are also practice problems you can use to practice what you are learning for the week, as well as solutions. Some students like to do the problems without looking at the solutions, whereas other students prefer to look at the solutions to get the step-by-step -step process. Do whatever works best for you. When you click on Problems, it will open up the document for you. Here you can see the math problems that you'll be doing for practice. There are no points for the practice problems. This is more for your practice so that you can get familiar and it will help you do the homework later on. When you click on the solutions, another document will open. So you can see here are the same set of problems, but now there are solutions underneath and you can see the step-by-step -step process of how to calculate each word problem. Either way, I highly recommend you use the practice problems each week within the course documents in order to practice the problems and get a better handle on the material. In addition, each week, go to the left-hand side and click Assignments. Here is information regarding how the homework is to be done. Each week you'll have a folder of homework assignments and here on the main assignments page there are instructions. Your homework will be done through a tool called Connect Website. In order to access it you have to go through Blackboard and use the link to connect. Instructions here say do not go directly to the Connect Website. If you do, grading will not be linked over to the Blackboard system and you will not get credit. To log in for the very first time to connect, instructions have been provided here. Make sure to open up the PDF instructions as it walks you step by step on how to access connect. Let's look at week one. You'll see in each week's folder is a to-do list of what is expected for the week. For instance, for week one, you'll read the syllabus in chapters one, two, three, review the PowerPoint slides and practice problems in the course documents, and then complete the chapter homework assignments using Connect. That's these links right here. There's also a discussion board for week one that's due on Thursday. In addition, there is a quiz one that covers chapters one through three. I provide this to-do list so you know what to do each week and then the links below will take you to those assignments for convenience. Make sure to review and do all of the assignments for each week. On the left side, again, you can also click on the discussion board if you wanted to go directly and see all of the discussion boards for the course. You are always welcome to go in through this route to access the discussion board. There is also online tutoring available. The information is here on the left regarding when the online tutoring sessions take place and how to access it. Also, to the left is My Grades, so you can see all the different assignments and the points that you received. Generally, when I make major announcements, I'll use the Announcements link on the left-hand side, and I will send weekly reminders via email about the assignments due for the week, just like I sent out the welcome message. If you need to email someone within the class, you can email me using the send email function. Or you can email your peers or specific members of the classroom. 
Otherwise, that is Blackboard in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please let me know.